When you're ready to publish at Smashwords, just click on the Publish tab. The prompts will primarily be similar to KDP Amazon, such as a title and a release date. Now they'll have a long description and a short description of your book. Some retailers will display the long one, some will display the short one. In both cases, make it a great description. I don't recommend checking this box that says let readers determine the price of my book. I would personally recommend either making it for free or charging a specific amount. And if you do sell at Amazon, make it for at least the same amount and the same amount's a good idea. Now you can change the amount that you have for sampling. This is different than Amazon which does 10% of your book. Smashwords recommends 20%, so that's probably a good number to leave in there. You've got categories here, just like you do at KDP Amazon, and you've also got tags. You can choose which ebook formats you want your book to be available for. By default, these are all checked, and I think it's smart to leave them all checked. You can upload your cover image here, and then here you would click on either your Microsoft Word document or your EPUB file, either way. Smashwords does prefer Microsoft Word documents, but that's just because they originally designed their system that way. Then all you have to do is click the Yes, I Agree button and publish immediately. One of the differences between Smashwords and Amazon is there's no preview at Smashwords. Your book basically will be live at Smashwords as soon as you publish it, and only then can you actually see what things look like. But don't worry, they won't send it off to retailers until you've had a chance to look at it. After your book has been published at Smashwords, you can then check the EPUB or Mobi or even the PDF version just to see how things look. Caliber will read the EPUB and Mobi versions, and if you find that you don't like the way that the formatting has converted, you can always upload a new version through your dashboard. Once you're happy with things, then you can set your channel manager up to decide which retailers to upload to. You can access the channel manager through your dashboard, and if you scroll down to the lower section here, you'll see the um, retailers listed. All of the retailers will be listed, and it goes over further to the right. Now, it says that it has Amazon listed, but don't believe it. The Smashwords really does not distribute to Amazon for 99.9% .9 of the authors. Now, I opt out of certain retailers because Barnes & Noble and Kobo have direct uploading available, so I like to upload to them directly. Some books I upload to Apple through draft to digital and that's why it says opt out here on my Smashwords page. But the distribute button will be checked for all of the other retailers and most of my other books I actually distribute to Apple through Smashwords. And these are decisions that you'll want to make too, whether you distribute through Smashwords or draft to digital or if you upload to some of these places directly. Smashwords is one of the few retailers besides Amazon that allows you to create a profile and you can fill out a biography, even do an interview, do all kinds of things like upload videos and your books and things like that. I think it's a really wise thing to do and it helps readers connect with authors. Through your dashboard there's also something called a coupon manager where you can generate a coupon for anywhere up to 100% off of your book. And this is really handy if you want to be able to give away free copies of your book without changing the price at the retailer. All you do is click on the Generate Coupon button and then follow the prompts. Also be sure to fill out all of your account information through the Account tab. And this is where you can edit your profile, your account information, your communication preferences, but also your tax information and your payment settings. Uh, this is where you would click on your payment settings to add either a bank account or the method that you want to be paid when you make sales. Smashwords is a terrific retailer, so hopefully your experience there will be a good one. But they do have rigid formatting requirements. 
So if you have any trouble with your uploading experience, try to make the corrections, work with their style guide, and even their customer support is very responsive. Next we're going to talk about draft to digital which is also a distributor and they also have much easier formatting requirements. They don't distribute to as many retailers as Smashwords does, but they do distribute to the big ones.